can't find my Lego Sunday. I love the smell of your bum. Hogan? Are you in here? Uh, Twelve more milliseconds. Hogan! Wake up! Just wait over there, Jack! Jeez, Bulk! How long have you been sleeping here? Oh, four days. Oh. Well, go on up! Up and at him! I gotta show you something! Alright! Apparently, Bulk Hogan was just sleeping on the arena floor for four days before Ammo had to wake him up. Weird. What the hell do you want, Jack? I'm not here for anything bad. I just want to read something to you. <clears throat> I scowl with frustration at myself in the mirror. What? Is that... Is that Fifty Shades of Grey? Damn my hair. It just won't behave. Stop it! Stop that! S stop that! And damn Catherine Kavanaugh for being ill and subjecting me to this ordeal. Did it work? Yep! Wow, it really worked. Alright, Ammo. I'll go tell Fred the good news. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome... A weird backstage segment in which Bulk Hogan fell unconscious after hearing just a couple of lines from the hit book Fifty Shades of Grey. Who would have known literature would have put Bulk Hogan to sleep if that was the case? Wrestlers would just have to read Go Dog Go and he would fall unconscious. Fuckers have been fucking me in the ass about my neck for months. But then Bulk Hogan stomped on the chair with my head sandwiched in it. And he broke my neck! Now those fucking doctors say that my career is now over. This time, those son of a cock executives agree. I am here to announce my goddamn retirement. So, goodbye, you cocksucker, fuckers. I'm not doing this world's smallest violent shit anymore! I want one more match before I retire! I've seen these shit comments all over the internet for fucking years! So it's about goddamn time we make it real, you motherfuckers! End of days! Me! Versus...
Angry Grandpa! See you there, you fat fucking son of a... Yes! Tourette's guy apparently just laid out a challenge to Angry Grandpa, who is not even employed here in the Television Wrestling Association. How is he going to pull this off?